What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Um, so today I'm going to be opening this M17A1 field protective mask in its original box. Um, if you guys have been around the channel for a while then uh, you might know that uh, the M17 series is one of my favorite uh, US respirators just because of how iconic it is. Um, in Vietnam, Desert Storm, all throughout the 80s. Um, just an awesome mask in general. Um, but uh, I just also wanted to quick point out, I also got this in the mail today too. This is a Rothko uh, Alice uh, Freedom Pellet Pouch. <laughs> um, just got my 330 round mags in there, but uh, there will be a separate video on this. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so onto the video, the seller did tell me that uh, it would have been retaped um, because the old tape has uh, dried out. It's like that paper tape, uh, similar to like scotch tape or whatever. Um, but uh, and it does have some water damage. Um, there's the national stock number. Mass protective field M17A1 size medium, one each. Has a contract of 1967, and uh, two dates on here. December 1970 and August of 1970 and it was manufactured by Mine Safety Appliances and the packaging itself was manufactured by Weyerhaeuser Company uh, in Colster, New Jersey. So this is what one of these M17A1s look like when they're sealed and let's crack it open. I don't get this uh, opportunity very much uh, to buy a sealed gas mask, um, but uh, usually because they're pretty expensive, this one was about $140, um, and I'm going to open it up here, so there's the box, and we'll just set that aside for now, and then here's the mask and carrier. So. Obviously you could see the uh, nice markings on here, US Mass Protective Field M17A1, size medium, made by RBNR. And the back compartment, which was usually for the decon kit, and then this compartment, which is usually for the straps. Uh, and then some M17A1 carriers had this extra compartment down here, or pocket, or pouch, or whatever you want to call it, which, uh, from what I would understand, it was usually for the waterproofing bag. Here I have a used M17A1 bag, and you'll notice that it does not have that pocket. Later versions did not have this pocket. Um, other than that, it is identical to the M17A2 gas mask bag, which is post-Vietnam. Um, and so I, I try and find the ones with the bottom pocket. Um, that's how you know that it was a true M17A1. Because after this marking wears off, you'll have no idea um, whether it was an M17A1 or M17A2. Um, but this is just one that I have. So let's open up the carrier. Outserts, the M1 eyelet outserts, and then it felt like that there was something back here too. Here's the waterproofing bag, and this is the older one where the pouch came with this little metal uh, wire that you would just kind of roll over and help seal it like that. Um, Waterproofing bags that have the pouch like this are Vietnam era ones. The ones with the Ziploc bag are post Vietnam. And then here's the mask. So um, obviously it says the same things. Uh, it says one each mass protective field M17A1, less carrier, made by MSA, size medium, August of 70. 
Now, there used to be a video on YouTube of a kid that had one of these that was already opened, but he got it sealed, and he said that the M1 uh, NBC canteen cap was in the in the package already. Um, I've never seen an unboxing or an opening of one of these things before, so I have no clue. Um, but let's find out, and I'm just gonna use my knife here. So again, this thing has been sealed since 1970. Get this packaging out of the way. There's the mask with the filters already installed. And you can see the cardboard face former. This is help the face piece keep its shape. Well, you could definitely smell the rubber right away. Um, and there's some other shots of it. You could really appreciate on how clear those uh, outserts or the, the eye lenses are. And size medium. US and uh, head harness and it did in fact come with the M1 gas mask top now this one is a green one which is really interesting I thought it would have been the black one but it is just a normal uh, gas mask top for the M17 series, uh, MCU series, M40 series, and MSA Millenniums. Really stiff cap. But, uh, so yeah, you guys, you, you guys saw it here that uh, they do in fact come with one when they're sealed. And this one was from 1970. Um, we'll get the face former out of there. That's all that looks like. And then around the drinking tube they have this remove before use and throw away and then around the, uh, the middle or I guess the temple strap they have remove before use and throw away so like I said the filters are already installed in here um, and I want you guys to make your own prediction of do you think they'll be the uh, um, green ring or black ring Personally, I think they're going to be the green ring filter, which came later, but let's find out. Man, that's really on there. And they're the black ring, which is interesting. Another thing that I just noticed when I pulled this off is that the, uh, the um, I guess, air deflector uh, that helps move air in and out of the filter is uh, completely dry rotted. Those are replaceable, not a huge deal, not like you'd want to use this thing anyways. But um, So anyways guys, that is going to wrap it up for this unboxing. This was the unboxing of the US Field M17A1 Field Protective Mask. Um, these gas masks were produced uh, in 65 through, or I think 60, some people say 65, some people say 66. Uh, personally, I say 65, um, so 65 through up until 1981, um, and then in 1982, the M17A2s came out, and um, those were produced up until, I honestly don't know, um, but uh, you'd stop seeing them about 1993, um, very shortly after Desert Storm is when they start to disappear, um, but anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, have a nice day.